In this video we're going to take a look at permutations that involve identical objects or with non-ordered elements. And in this first example uh, we're asked to list all the permutations of the letters in the word SEA, so as in like a body of water, or the word C as to as in to see something. Uh, taken three at a time, so we're using all of the letters. Now, if we're going to write the uh, all the permutations of SEA, so we would go SEA, and then uh, do it in ordered order, ordered fashion, so that you don't miss anything. Uh, I left the S uh, at the beginning in the next one, and just switch the E and the A, and then I put the E first and go SA or E first and AS, so you can switch those, or you can start with the A first and go SE, or you can switch the S and E, but E and then S. So there's actually six. Now, if you do C S E E. So basically this one, the S is either in the first spot, or in the middle, or at the end. You see the two E's are identical, so it doesn't matter whether I take this one and put it here, and this one and put it here, or vice versa, it's still SEE, -E because the two E's are the same. The difference over here is, of course, the two vowels, E and A, are different. So putting the E here, or the A last, is different from putting the A in the middle and the E last. So there's six of these, and actually that comes from arranging from, there's three letters, and the way to arrange three different things is three factorial, which equals six. Uh, this is, uh, th uh, totals to three, and it's actually three factorial divided by two. And the reason it's divided by two, it's actually two factorial, is because there's two or two factorial ways of arranging two things. So, like the E and the A here, EA or AE, there's two ways to do those two letters, but if the two letters are the same, then it, there's no different way to arrange them. So we divide this by two, so notice that there are half of the arrangements here that there are over here because of those two letters that are the same. When you have letters that are the same as opposed to being different, then it reduces the number of ways they can be arranged because, as I said, taking, putting this E first and that last, still looks exactly the same as switching them around and still being SEE. -E. So uh, when you have a certain number of objects and some are the same, uh, it reduces the number of ways you can permute them or arrange them. So uh, for permutations with identical objects, the number of permutations of n objects, so n is the total number, of which a are alike, b are alike, c are alike, etc., is the total factorial divided by and uh, so A is a certain kind that are the same, like the E's, so we divide by A factorial, and then there's another thing that there are more than one of, so we divide it by B factorial and C factorial, etc. In the example on this page, it says, how many permutations of the letters in the word Mississippi begin with letter M? Well, now, when it says begins with letter M, that means the M has to be the beginning. So it's kind of like the M is taken out of this. And now we're all we're doing is saying, okay, the M's got to be the beginning, so there's only one way to do that. So we're really just arranging the other letters, the I, S, S, I, S, S, I, P, P, I. And so uh, we, we, would, we would not count the M. And so there's 10 other letters. So we're really just arranging everything from this I to this I. And so the total number of things we're arranging is 10 factorial. Now, if you count them, one, two, three, four, there's four I's the same, so that's why we're dividing by four factorial, and there's one, two, three, four S's the same, so that's why we divide the, by this four factorial, and there's two P's that are the same, so we divide by two factorial. And so, we get 3,150. Now, just to show you, I'll do this with my calculator, so 10, factorial, how this, how you punch this. Now, in most calculators, you would have to put the 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 2 factorial in brackets, because I want to divide that by the product of all these. Some calculators, you may have to go times. Uh, this one, you don't actually have to, although it's still going to work. I'll show you on the end. I'm just going to do 2 factorial. And so there's the 3,150. Now, if the restriction that it had to begin with the letter M wasn't there, then we would instead have an 11 factorial here if we didn't have the restriction. So it would be 11 factorial over 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 2 factorial. And so it would increase the uh, uh, number of uh, arrangements a bit. 
Uh, one more example. Uh, Luigi lives five blocks west and seven blocks north of his school. So these are all the uh, blocks to get from home to his school. And it says, starting in September, he decides to walk home taking a different route each day. And one thing I'll say to Luigi is good luck keeping track of all these. If there are 20 days of school in each month and 10 months in a school year, uh, approximately when will he run out of new routes? Well, in order to go from school to his home, we are he's taking he's taking five blocks west somewhere and seven blocks north somewhere so i'm going to abbreviate this and say uh, five w's so five west blocks and seven n's n being the north blocks he goes and it really doesn't matter whether he does something like this or if we get rid of that you know this is another possible route to go from school to his home and whichever one you're doing at some place he goes five blocks west and seven blocks north. So the number of routes is really how many ways you can arrange five W's and seven N's. So there are 12 blocks to go here all together, five and seven add to 12. And so we divide 12 factorial by five factorial times seven factorial. And we'll do this in the calculator again. So 12, factorial divided by 5 factorial 7 factorial and that's where the 792 comes from now um, so 20 days of school in a month times 10 months so about 200 school days in a year so he's got 792 potential routes here and so 200 for one grade and 200 for another grade, and 200 for another grade, that only takes you up to 600. So he still have 192 more for the, the following year, the fourth year, which means he's getting into the last year of school because if we add another 200 onto that, okay, that takes up to 800. So in, in four school years, it'd be about, about 800 days approximately. So he's He's completing the fourth next grade, probably in June, at the end of the school year, before he runs out of roots, using a new route every single time he goes from school to home. And that's the end of the video.